Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Bolt Matrix, and today we are taking a look at Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Leo Prime, also known as Leo Convoy, but we're not talking about Beast Wars the second this time. This figure is an absolute looker in robot mode. I love the way this figure just pops. You've got the gold, the white, the silver, the blue, and it's my favorite shade of blue. It is definitely an Optimus Prime shade of blue. The head sculpt on this figure is exquisite. It is definitely a combination of Optimus Prime and the original Lyo Convoy. It's definitely not Optimus Prime, though. It's just close enough. On the chest, you can see the wonderful molding that they've got going on here and they've got this lovely panel here which one quibble paint matching on the panel versus the chest is not exact but getting your fingernail in there and opening up and hey look at that we got a matrix in there those of you who have ever watched beast wars the second will know that the matrix there isn't exactly a matrix of leadership all convoys have a matrix continuing down we've got a wonderful silver abdomen those two dots a um, lovely front plate in the front and then yeah cat feet in this robot mode he is highly poseable but there is something we need to talk about before that and that is the kitty kibble there's a lot of it there's a lot of cat kibble on here or i should say lion kibble the head of the lion mode is sitting on the figure's right shoulder while the arse end of the lion mode is sitting on the left. And this end has a tendency to just flip up. There's nothing really pegging it in place, unfortunately, and not a big deal. And then there are the front claws and haunches that are on, well, they're just hanging off the elbows of the robot mode. That does play into an attack mode in the robot mode, but there, there, there's a lot of beastie bits hanging off here. That is the design of the character, though. Lyo Convoy slash Leo Prime in Beast Wars Second had all of this kitty kibble hanging off of him. It's just the way he was designed. Posability. Head is on a ball joint that offers swivel up look. Not, not much in terms of up look, but there is a bit of down looking. Shoulders are on hinges and swivels, and there is a bicep swivel that is much tighter than the actual shoulder swivel. Bend at the elbow is 90 degrees. There is no fist articulation due to the transformation. There is torso articulation, and it's thankfully very tight. Can kick forward plenty, can kick back plenty, can kick out at 90 degrees. Thigh swivel. Bend at the knee is weird. Because of the transformation, there is actually no singular knee, but there is is a double hinge that upper hinge is for the transformation this lower hinge is technically his knee then there's an ankle rocker at over 90 degrees no forward and back movement but that can be fixed with the heel a little bit so if you've got something that requires the foot to tilt forward a little bit the heel can tilt back or down to add a little bit of extra stability there is a swivel here but it's specifically for the transformation and it locks into one of two positions either the back position for the lion mode or the front position for the robot mode now with all this posability he is pretty darn posable though um i do have a problem with him in that he is very top heavy if you don't have him positioned just right he falls backwards and falls forwards very easily the original figure that i have reviewed had that exact same issue. Now, Kitty Convoy does have some weapons. He has blades in the in the cat paws that flip out and are made of a somewhat soft material. They're not they're not super soft, but they're not super hard either. So you do have the blade gimmick that the original figure had. And then he has some guns. He's got four guns, two of which are stored in his back, and we'll just pop them out. Getting them to store back there is a bit of a pain, because as you can see, those are rectangle slots. They're not 3.5 millimeter jacks. Jacks? 3.5 mil ports, which he has on his feet, by the way. It is a little bit weird, but they do peg into the 3.5 mill ports, which can be found by flipping out the little bit of kitty fur that is on the forearm, and then these peg into place. And uh, just be careful getting them pegged in. Not super hard, but you kind of have to push it in exactly the right way or it falls off. And the other two guns are stored in the lion's mane that flip out. Now, the original figure, these were spring-loaded guns. Obviously, we don't have that here. 
So unpeg them. And these are the standard 3.5 mil ports. And those can go in his hands. And this mode is his Evo Fusion mode. It, it's pretty much just guns and blades. I'm okay with that. Once you've got the figure posed in the way you want it, he is rather striking. I can't argue with that. It is a good looking figure. Yes, it has a bunch of kitty kibble hanging off of it, but it works. It just does. Now, Hasbro, I'm speaking to you directly. I like this figure. I'm going to say that right now. Give me a Galvatron. I don't care if it's leader. I don't care if it's commander. Give me a giant pink evil Destron, please. In terms of size, Voyager class Tigatron, Voyager Siege Prime, Deluxe class Spots, Deluxe class Rotor Storm, Leader Blaster, a Rhinoceros who I don't want to transform, and Convoy. I, I mean Optimus Primal. Not gonna lie, these two look really good together, and I'm getting flashbacks to the Beast Wars second movie. So now that comparisons are out of the way, let's get into the transformation. This transformation I don't find fun. It's more fiddly and annoying than anything else. To start off with, grab the lion head and pull it away from the body. Then flip the lion head and the other shoulder bits back like that. Come down to the feet, fold the heels up, and turn the foot around 180 degrees. And do that on the other side. And then come to the knees, bend the leg forward, and then unpeg it at the upper joint and then fold that red joint up until it snaps into place. So do that on the other side, fold it in, unpeg it, and then, and that requires a little bit more force than I'd, I'd like really. Next, come to the chest and get your finger underneath the head and split the chest open. Really, you can do this. It's just a little bit hard and you've, you've got to have some nails or something to pry that open. Turn the head around and then fold it up into the cavity, then unpeg the shoulders and fold them up a little bit, then grab that section where the head is pegged in, fold it forward, turn it around 180 degrees, and then fold it back up and peg it into place. This will form the belly or the back belly of the lion mode. Next, I like to fold the arms forward to just get them out of the way, come to the backpack section where the head, the arse, and the midsection are, and turn that 90 degrees so that the head is now pointing up or the lion head is now pointing up to where the robot head was. And then we can come down to the bottom and turn the hips around 180 and fold the legs down and fold the butt down like so. The fists will fold up into the arms like that. And then this whole section will fold around and then there is a tab at the bottom of the wrist that will peg into this tab, or this slot will peg into this tab just underneath the jowls of the beast mode. You want to first collapse the head in and then bring the arm up and it will peg into place, but you gotta really push that in there. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Collapse the fist into the bottom of the forearm, turn it around, or turn the forearm around, flip that whole panel section in, and extend the arm up and peg the wrist into place behind the lion or underneath the lion's head. And they don't peg in all that tight. Next, get the beast legs out of the way and fold these panels up and they will peg into place. It's just a little bit of a question if you're gonna be able to keep them pegged into place and then keep the wrists pegged into place when you do so. It, it all goes back together. Take the lion paw, fold it down, and twist it around. Then the entire front upper leg section, bring it around on the ball joint, and then there's a slot inside that will peg into the peg that is sitting right there that was the armpit of the robot mode. Or, I'm sorry, not the armpit, the panel peg that pegged the chest in. So do that, and I swear, every time I move this ball joint, if this is pegged in, it comes unpegged. So just be ready for it. So get that pegged in and then peg all that up. Get that shoulder pegged in, flip the main section down and come to the back and slide the back into place. Push the back down and lion mode is done. I gotta admit, it's a pretty darn good lion mode and it works well and it definitely feels like leo convoy or lio convoy except for one thing those 
Dead yellow eyes. I absolutely hate that. The original figure, when you transformed the head, the pupiled lion eyes kind of turned or moved so that you got these kind of dead white or dead yellow eyes. And then when you transformed it back into lion mode, the eyes flipped back into place and you had pupils in the eyes. Not so much here. I might just take a paint marker to it and add some eyes in myself. Or maybe find a sticker of some sort. I don't know. Hey, Toy Hacks, can you make stickers that small? I'd buy them. But other than the eyes, the lion mode works incredibly well. The mouth opens a little bit and then closes. And overall, yeah, you could tell it was a robot that went turned or transformer, but it works. It feels cohesive, and I really feel like Hasbro has been doing well by the giant kitties it's been or it's been making at Voyager and Deluxe Class lately. Here's Deluxe Class Cheetor. It works. The proportions are all there. And yes, Cheetor, I realize, has the same dead eyes. And here's Tigatron. Pretty good. And, and you know what? All of these kitty bots have the same quote-unquote issues, dead eyes, and obvious robot kibble hanging off the backs of their rear haunches. They're toys. It's fine. Lion Mode does possess the Evo Fusion ability, and that is flipping out all of the bits of the mane, like so. And then... Adding freaking guns everywhere! The original figure did this, and it was stupid then, and it's just as stupid here. The only gimmick that the original figure has that this figure does not is in robot mode. The lion head, all the main bits could sp stick out, and the entire lion head could spin in a like a Leo tornado. And before we end the review, I just have to try monkey riding lion. Yeah, I am telling you, Hasbro, Majin Zarak. Haslab, get it done. Overall, I think Lyo Convoy is a success. No, I'm not going to transform him back because I just don't want to. I think the lion mode works. I think the robot mode works. It's a fun toy. It has some minor issues, but overall, it's a solid release. I'm really hoping we get to see some more Japanese-only characters coming over to the U.S. I'm looking at you, Big Convoy and Magmatron. Please. All right, folks, let me know what you think of Leo Prime down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Bo Matrix, and I will catch you all next time.